Well, good morning. Good morning and welcome to my word for the day. I'm Lee Watson. Uh, I am a business advisor. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm uh, an adventurer and I'm a guy who likes really good words, which is why I like the Virtues Project so much. They're all good words. This is a deck of 100 good words. And I picked one completely at random today. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about a little bit. And the word is understanding. Yeah, everybody understands what understanding is, I think. But we don't always think about it when we're actively in conversation with somebody else or we see or hear some new thing. Uh, it was interesting. I uh, I watched a uh, Netflix show. It was about joy. And the interviewees were uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu from South Africa and the Dalai Lama, uh, who's exiled from Tibet and I believe lives in uh, India. It was a really interesting, interesting conversation from people who have completely different backgrounds. And it goes into a little bit about their backgrounds and how they just seemed to embrace understanding of each other in such a way that, uh, I mean, it was really fun. And, and they were joking about things and poking fun at each other. It was really a great in interview. So if you, you get to see that, it's, uh, again, it was on Netflix and it was about joy and it, it had those two uh, people in it, uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu from South Africa and uh, the Dalai Lama. Uh, and so, yeah, the word today is understanding. And I just thought that was a, a really great example of two people understanding each other who had completely different backgrounds, different religions. Um, yeah, really interesting. Okay, let's let's dive right in. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're making it a great day because remember, we are responsible for how it is that we act and our attitudes toward the day. I'm thankful every day. Let's go. Understanding is having clear insight into ideas and feelings. We thoughtfully seek to comprehend the full truth. This is kind of acting, active listening stuff. We're mindful of what most, what is most important. We're deeply present to others with compassion and accuracy, helping them to discern their own clarity. We go the extra mile to put ourselves in another's shoes in order to forgive. We treasure knowledge and use our minds as tools to explore what is real and true. We cherish the ability to see the whole picture, understanding. <laughs> By the way, if you have any thoughts or comments, please put them in the comments. And if you'd like to talk to me directly, I still do the 15 minute calls. If you go to businessbeyondnumbers.com, wherever it is, slash contact, you can schedule a 15 minute call with me. It's free. It's just, um, yeah, I like to talk to people about interesting things. All right, let's continue on with understanding. There's a quote on the back of this card, and the quote is from Vincent van Gogh. Most of you recognize that name as the artist. If one is master of one thing and understands one thing well, one has, the same, as at the same time, insight into an understanding of many things. I kind of chopped that up a little bit, so let me read that again. 
if one is master of one thing and understands one thing well, one has, at the same time, insight into an understanding of many things. Vincent van Gogh. True. Once you learn how to better understand things, you, you may uh, find that you understand many things. So what does the practice of understanding look like? I reflect on the meaning of ideas. Yeah. I have empathy for others' feelings. I am mindful of meaning. I am a discerning listener. That's so important. Being an active discerning listener. Uh, and what that means really is when you're in conversation with somebody and they are talking, restrain yourself. Hold back even the thought of your response. Don't even formulate it until after you've heard everything. And you may even want to feed some of what they said back to them so both of you can be certain that you have an understanding. Uh, that's active listening. Uh, and, and it really does make a difference. Okay. I call on empathy in order to forgive. Empathy is such an important thing. Put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Um, really understand more about where they're coming from, the context of the whole situation. That's a good thing to do. I value knowledge and perceptiveness. I'm thankful for the gift of understanding. It enlightens my viewpoint. Very good. So the word today is understanding. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you use it. Hope you use it all the time, or as much as you can. Um, understanding, it, it takes an act of listening, and, uh, and not just listening, but observing, observing things around you. Uh, we have so much information available now uh, with the internet. We, um, <laughs> I was talking to a friend the other day about the internet and what did we do before the internet? And we, we were fortunate at our house that we had a set of Encyclopedia Britannica. And I don't know how many of you have ever heard of that or know what it is, but it was a huge volume of books about everything that was known at the time. And I can put more on my phone right now than that whole that whole stack of books held. Amazing how things have, have changed and often for the better, sometimes not, but the available knowledge right now to help us to understand so many things is really impressive. I mean, if you don't know how to do something, oh, there's, there's YouTube for that. Um, you don't understand the meaning of a word. Yeah, just look it up online. Um, you don't have to go to a big dictionary. Well, I mean, life has become a lot more fast-paced, a lot more convenient, and unfortunately, in some cases, a lot less personal. We don't have the personal um, connection so much, and especially with COVID, where we you know, have to distance ourselves a little bit. So the word today, understanding, is really important. It's important that we take responsibility for understanding what's going on in the world. I mean, certainly we can coast through life and just do our work and manage things. Uh, but life is so much more interesting if you actually pay attention, smell the flowers, you know, smell the roses, they say. Okay, well, um, I'm about at the end of my time. I want to thank a few people. I want to thank the Virtues Project for producing these cards. These are awesome. Thank you, Virtues Project. You can find them at virtuesproject.com. Great organization. They've been around for over 30 years, and they're in over 100 countries. 
They teach virtues. They teach them to kids and families and organizations, businesses of all kinds, governments. They, they're all over the place. Um, as you know, I am a business advisor, and I like to incorporate virtues into small business. Once you understand the importance of these things, you'll understand how you can get a competitive advantage um, by doing the right thing, by being caring and, and treating your employees well and uh, providing excellence and service and, and whatever. Uh, that's a good thing. I want to thank our sponsors, all of them, who have in the past and, and continue in the future uh, to support Green Cow and what it is that we're trying to do to change the world. Uh, if you want to know more about real estate, that's another one of our ventures. Uh, we like real estate. It's fun. And over time, it's been very good to us. So we're thankful to, to have that. <sighs> okay. To all the people who watch this show, who watch it either live or um, the replay, thank you for that. Thank you so much. Um, we do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I want to remind you that uh, we're all in this whole mess of a world together. And if we learn more about simple things like understanding, we really, really can make this world a better place. And I hope you'll do that with me. Uh, some people have... Uh, more resources than others to do good things, but it's always a good thing to uh, to do something really nice for somebody else. So let's do that today. Let's do something nice for somebody else. And for those of you who have the resources to do something really nice for a whole bunch of people, awesome. I know you do it now, and I thank you for that. Let's be the light in the world. Let's be a light in the world. Let's be that source of hope and peace and joy joy, love, caring, and cooperation, understanding, you know, all the things. Let's, let's be that and make this world a better place. If you want to talk to me about this, again, go to this businessbeyondnumbers.com slash contact. And uh, otherwise, you know, you can reach out to me on Facebook or whatever. I'm not hard to find. And uh, let's start a conversation. Okay, that's all for today. Make this a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.